but hey guys it's Vicki welcome back to my channel so today's video is going to be the thrift haul that I said I wasn't gonna do this week um, I basically got caught up on all of my work uh, like everything has been listed that's that I have that's available so I said I'm gonna go to the thrift store because I hadn't gone all week and I was just desperate so I went on a Friday which I've never done so today is Saturday um, if you follow me on Instagram, um, you can find me at Allie Bethany, and <clears throat> I post my thrift hauls to my stories sometimes. It's not very, it's very, very, very rare. But anyway, that's what I did last night, but I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to do this video just because I feel better today, and I'm bored. So, um, I went to Goodwill, and where else did I go? Oh, yeah, I went to Goodwill in his house. Um, Goodwill, we found a good bit of stuff at Goodwill, so, um, all right, so if you would like to see what I got, stay tuned. Okay, so I spent an all, I want to say like $50, it was, it was about right at $50, like give or take a few dollars. Um, so I got a good bit of stuff for that amount. I did not really shop any of the clearance stuff. Um, at his house I did. Everything I got was a dollar. But at Goodwill I paid basically full price for everything. Which is still good because it's not as expensive as some states that I've been to. So I will go ahead and start showing you what I got. Um, the first thing I got were these boots. They are, um, like a velvet, not suede. It's a fabric. It's got the embroidered, um, roses on it and it says forever so I'm pretty sure these are like forever 21 I could be wrong but I thought they were really cute they were in excellent condition so I got them and then I got another pair of boots these are by report um, their stuff can be pricey and can be not so pricey um, but these are a fabric material so it's easy to clean they have like the little tassel on them really cute um, anytime I see ankle boots that look and shape like you know anytime I see ankle boots I try to get them on the back if you can see it's a little dingy but I can clean that up I hope um, I found this in my closet and it's funny because me and my daughter used to go dumpster diving a lot and we would go to Old Navy and Old Navy if you didn't know they throw away all of their returns so um, this was one of the tops that was in a bag that we had found a long time ago and you know just FYI their dumpster is not all gross full of food or anything like that it was just like uh, coat hangers uh, bags and bags of coat hangers mannequins uh, cardboard signs and then bags of clothing so this was one of the tops that we had gotten from there it still had the tags on it um, the tags uh, it was $29.99 originally it was just a cute little boho top um, I don't know what you want to call this, like a swing top, I guess. But yeah, it's blue, it's got the floral, and then the long sleeves. I know some people don't like the idea of people going dumpster diving, but it was fun. Um, this, I obviously will wash, um, and the tags, I guess I'm going to take the tags off, but I'll leave them with it. Um, but yeah, like stuff like this, I mean, you find stuff like this all the time there and shoes and just, it's crazy. The stuff that they throw away, it's sad um, that they don't donate it because they could donate it, but they don't. All right, this next item is a free people and it is just this black floral, like embroidered top. It's got the like quarter sleeves, really cute. It's got a zipper on the back. And I have some more stuff over there that I actually just listed in my closet, which I will go get. <clears throat> or I'll have my boyfriend and go get it. Alright, so this is an anthropology piece. It is a Kimmy and Ken. It is just a tunic top. I mean, it could possibly be a little mini dress for somebody really small. Because this is a size small. So, But I think it's a tunic top. But it's really cute. It's got like the lace... But yeah, that was that. Uh, this is Lucky Brand, and it is just another t-shirt. It's kind of, 
don't know, kind of gaudy, but I guess some people like that stuff. Um, it's got like a tribal feathers on it. I went ahead and got it. It was a dollar. Um, just because the last two Lucky Brand t-shirts that I got, they sold um, pretty much immediately as soon as I listed them. The next item is an Amanda Up Richard. It's a silk dress. It is wrinkled. I do need to steam it. Um, I don't know. There was a stain on it, but I actually did wash it. So it's not there anymore. It wasn't. A, it was like an oil stain. You know how you'll get the grease spots on stuff like this. But yeah, it's just like a simple little dress. A short dress. The next item I have is Exposit by Magashoni. Um, I won't be selling this because I did realize last night that it has like a pool. But it was just a, um, a polyester top. So I'll put that in the go away pile. Alright, so this is American Apparel. It's like a tank top, I guess you would call it. It's new with tags. Just a little burgundy color. Um, it's really cute. It doesn't have prices on it, so I don't really know what they are. But I was trying to grab a few things since spring is going to be here before we know it. I mean, it comes in March and it's like the almost, well, it's not the end of February, but it's the middle of February. So it's going to be here really soon. So I'm trying to go ahead and get some things in my closet for spring. I don't know if I'm going to have like a big sell on some of the winter stuff I have. Um, I would like to hear any feedback. If you, if that's what you do in your closet, let me know. I would love to know um, what I should do. Hold on to it or sell. This is sixth and lane. It is a 26 28 plus size. I love the print of this. It's got like the red stars. It's got ruffles. Very cute skirt. Um, and it was new with tags as well. It retailed for $59. Uh, this right here is by Lapis. Can I? lapis can you see it <laughs> um it's just a skirt like a long i'd call it a boho skirt what is this it's got something on it that needs to be snipped off but yeah it's just a long flowy denim skirt really pretty all right this is j crew factory i just got it because of the pineapples it's just got a pineapple print. It's a linen top. That's all. And as for size, I don't know if it's a size. It's a size large. So I wonder if my camera is going dark and light and dark and light. Okay, so this is another anthropology piece. It's knitted and knotted. Um, you can tell by the little metal piece. And it's just this cardigan, um, short sleeve cardigan. It's got like the holes all through it. And these big, chunky, I don't know if you can even see. this. It's got these big, chunky, roll thingies, whatever you want to call them. I don't know. <clears throat> uh, this is another Free People. It is a new with tags dress. Um, it is a size medium. Retailed for $108. And it's just a basic, like a tank top type dress, sundress, short. Um, it's got the lace up in the back. So, since it was new with tags, I figured it was worth it. Hi, kitty. Alright, this is another uh, anthropology. It's a Kimmy and Ken. And it is just a basic tunic top, like a sleeveless tunic top. Pretty coloring. It's just a light, like a cotton. This is Anthropology as well. It is Diletta. And it is a, another light shirt. It's got like the braiding around it all the way around the back. This is Theory. Um, it's just a silk cami. I think it's silk or silk blend. 
but it was cute. Just a little, you know, the camis that you'll wear under like their blazers and stuff like that. This is Sunday in Brooklyn. It is anthropology as well. Once again, another tunic top. Brian, can you give me that pile of clothes over there, please? Pretty quick, please. Thank you. Okay. Okay, so this is a Miss Me uh, size large. And it is a sundress. It was really cute. I like the flowers on it. It's lace. Um, it does have the lining underneath it. But it's, it's a short dress. It's not long. It's pretty short. Alright. This is a 100% silk. Um, it's Johnny Waz. It's a size medium. It's like a peplum top. It's got a drawstring. Um, I don't really know how to tie it. I already listed this in my closet. Um, it was just such a cute shirt. And I've only found one other Johnny Was. Um, it was a dress before and it sold really fast. But I'm pretty sure I took less on it than I should have. <laughs> but yeah, pretty, pretty, pretty. Um, this item is Ann Taylor Petites. It's just a polka dot uh, cardigan, well cardigan, it's a blazer jacket type thing. So it's just cute little, I don't know how much I'll get for it because looking at comps, it wasn't, pretty, it wasn't high at all. So, um, the next item I have is a Derek Lamb Tin Crosby. It's like a crisscross back open front jacket. It's a knit gray jacket. Um, this retails for like $395 and I was like, whoa. It's got the slits on the sleeves. Um, like I said, open front. It is a size two. And then on the back, there's this little crisscross thing. I've already listed that in my closet as well. This is a gunny sax. Um, well, the ribbon is not right. Oh, well, whatever. Um, so this is Gunny Sacks. It's, um, well, it's Jessica McClintock, um, for Gunny Sacks. I will show you that. And it's just this cute polka dot. It's a polyester dress, obviously. Um, polyester, um, strapless. What I liked about it was the bottom. It's got these, well, it's got a lot of hair on it. <laughs> but it has this, what is it, the, is it called Thule? Tull? I don't even know what it's called. But anyway, it's this stuff. Okay, you know what it is. The poofy stuff. I thought it was cute. It has this ribbon on it. Um, I don't know how to tie it properly. It's supposed to be tied flat. Yeah, I'm not a ribbon tire. <laughs> so, uh, I do my best. This is Patagonia. Um, this is their... I, I just looked it up because I just listed it. I don't remember. But anyway, it's their, one of their tops. It retails for $59. Um, really cute, really, really soft, nice material. I really like this. Um, it is a size medium. This is a vintage leather mini skirt. It's by Outerwear by Phoenix. And it's just a basic mini skirt. Um, there was one problem I did find when I was listing it. And the, this one section right here, if you can see it, it's just the seam. It just needs to be sewn back. So it's not bad, but apparently whoever wore it, they were obviously a little too wide for it. So, <laughs> um, but yeah, here's the tag. Ooh. My legs are falling asleep. I'm sitting on the floor. All right, this is Albert Nippon. I don't really know much about this brand, um, but I saw this. I love bell sleeves on anything, and they had these cute bell sleeves, so of course I got it. It's just this pretty um, blazer jacket. I don't know what you want to call it. I guess you call it a jacket. I got two pairs of Miss Me jeans. Um, I don't have issues selling these. A lot of people complain. But I still pick them up because I always am able to sell them. Um, I don't pay much for them at all. So they're boot cut. Um, 
and 29s. And the other pair right here. And these are 29s as well. These are the signature rise, which is low, low rise. <clears throat> That's the other boot. All right, this is another Doletta. And it's um, like a wrapped type sleeve thing going on here. But just another lightweight tank top type shirt, dress shirt. And then I got this. I don't really know anything about it, but I, I've been seeing this name. It's Masuk. I don't know. This is older because it's got shoulder pads, and I don't think I've seen anything recently with shoulder pads. So it's just this. It smells like a grandma. Okay. It smells like my grandma. Um, it's just this uh, blazer, knit blazer. Is it a blazer? Cardigan. Just that's it. It's got that blue stripe on it. Just pretty basic. It was in really good shape, and I've been seeing that name, and I want to say I looked up some comps, and they were pretty good, so we'll see. Um, this is a kimono, and it's the first kimono that I've ever found, so it is what it is. Um, it's 143 story by lineup. No clue who they are, but it was a pretty little kimono, so I got it. It's just this floral, um, like chiffon type kimono that's it so yeah that is oh one more I got these White House flight market so they said with jeans that straight leg distressed high-waisted jeans are in so these are straight leg high-waisted um, distressed jeans they're White House flight market they're size twos though um, I do have to wash them because I did find a stain in the lighting. You can easily see it in this type of lighting um, right here on the butt. Let me look inside because, you know, usually I look inside. Yeah, they apparently just sat on something. So I'm trying to get that stain out. But this is the jean. Um, it's just got like the... Doo -doo -doo. And then this. And they're like the boyfriend, is what it's called. The boyfriend. But if you can see, right here, there's a stain. I'm going to try to get that stain to go away. Anyway, so that was it for the thrift haul. I am now trying my hand at online arbitrage. We're going to see how this works. So I went on to a site last night, and I spent about $90. Um... <laughs> I'm gonna see. I'm gonna I'm gonna try it out. I'm gonna see how it works. I think that it'll work out pretty well for the stuff that I was able to find. Yeah, I'll be able to flip those things easily. So I will. I guess when I get that package in, I will go through and do a haul with you guys so you see what I got. Um, yeah. So that is it. I hope you enjoyed this haul. If you have any questions, comments, or concern, please feel free to leave a comment below or you can contact me on Instagram and DM me, um, comment, whatever. And I will be doing my What's Sold video tomorrow. Um, it'll be uploaded about midnight. Bye!